हरे कृष्णा एवरी वन आई एम काव्य बुद्धि राजा वेलकम बैक टू बींग कृष्णा कॉन्शियस सो द क्वेश्चन दैट वी आर डीलिंग विद टूडे हैज बीन आस्क बाय अ लॉट ऑफ यू द क्वेश्चन इज आई चैंट सिक्सटीन राउंड डेली इफ नॉट सिक्सटीन देन देर आर अ नंबर ऑफ मिनिमम राउंड दैट आई डेफिनेटली चैंट एवरी डे आई रीड भगवद गीता एंड आई रीड अदर स्पिरिचुअल टेक्स इज वेल आई कॉन्स्टेंटली ट्राई टू एंगेज माई सेल्फ इन टू कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस yet i am experiencing a lot of pain in my life the sort of pain that i am getting in my life seems very much similar to what any other material person is getting in his life so what's the point of being spiritual if by being a spiritualist i am not getting any ease in my pains then why should i chant in the first place so the question is that does a devotee also suffer like any other material person the answer is no for a devotee any pain that is given to him is directly given by shri krishna it is by krishna's arrangements that those sufferings are coming into his life now to understand this further for any material person the pain that he is getting in his life is actually due to his own karma the reactions of his actions but for any spiritualist those pains are not general in nature they are specifically tailored by the mercy of lord shri krishna and let me tell you one thing if you are constantly engaged in the practice of krishna consciousness then you will actually realize this that any pain that you are getting is actually making you detached from some or the other thing let's take an example if a material person loses a loved one similarly if a spiritualist loses a loved one now externally if we see both of the situations have same sort of pain the suffering is involved and externally it might seem almost the same but on one hand where the material person would be grieving for his unbearable loss and he would be blaming krishna he would be blaming that supreme personality for his loss on the other hand it would be the spiritualist it would be the spiritual person who would be taking it as a blessing he would be taking it that krishna has mercifully accepted my loved one unto his lotus feet and now it is an opportunity for me to detach myself even further and engage into krishna consciousness so again the consciousness the perspective has changed being into krishna consciousness does not really guarantee that you will not suffer from any pain but it definitely gives you guarantee that the shakti the tolerance which is required to bear that pain would be given to you by shri krishna and the thing that we are considering today's suffering might turn into tomorrow's blessing we just have to wait and we have to keep our full faith on the plans of lord shri krishna now the next question could come well the diseases could be same a material person could suffer from the same disease and also any spiritual person or the situations could be the same then how do we know that there is some difference how do we know that it is krishna only who is making all these arrangements especially for the spiritual person how do we know that a spiritual personality is not being governed by material energy or maya in the bhagavad gita chapter number 9 verse number 10 Shri Krishna says maya dhyakshena prakriti this material nature this material energy also known as maya devi is working under my instructions this maya devi is working under my directions so when krishna himself is assuring that it is me only who is also anumanta and upadrishta upadrishta means he is the general supervisor overall supervisor and anumanta means he is the sanctioner all of us must have heard since our childhood that not even a leaf can be moved without his instruction so that parameshwar if any suffering is coming into our life then how can we say that it is coming without krishna's sanction so this must be the consciousness of any devotee he must think that each and every situation that is coming into my life is like a ball it's like a basketball that my master wants me to basket right on point so that should be our perspective 
Another thing could be, let's take an example, a very common example. If you throw a bone in front of a dog, what will the dog do? The dog will look at the bone right away. On the other hand, if you throw that same bone in front of a lion, what will the lion do? Where will he look? The lion would be least interested in the bone, but most interested in the person who threw that bone. Similarly, any situation is like a bone which is coming into our life. And right now, we're only busy looking at the bone, the situation prima facie. However, once we have that consciousness of lion, the only person that we would be interested in knowing would be the thrower of that bone. And the thrower of that bone, the thrower of those bone-like situations, those bone-like pains into our life is none other than Lord Shri Krishna. Because He is Sarva Karan Karanam. As Brahmaji rightly mentions in the 5th chapter verse number 1 of Sri Brahma Samhita. Ishvara Parma Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi Radir Govinda Sarva Karan Karanam. That Parameshwar Shri Krishna is Sarva Karan Karanam. He is the cause of all causes. Now coming on to the last segment of this video. Our Acharyas, including Srila Prabhupada, used to give a beautiful example. You know, there's a cat. Now the way that cat would be holding a rat and her own kitten would be different. Now externally, it might seem that the cat is using her jaws and her teeth to hold both of them, the rat as well as her own kitten. However, what is death for the rat? is actually affection for her own kitten. So any spiritual person is like that kitten who is being affectionately carried by her mother or maybe her father cat. So this is the situation of a spiritualist. He must never be scared. Why? Because in the first chapter of the book titled The Science of Self-Realization, Sri Prabhupada clearly mentions that Krishna says that if you do not accept me while living your life, then you will have to accept me. You will have to face me as cruel death. So as soon as we understand that all of these situations are specifically tailored to detach us from material conditionings, from our material surroundings, the more happier we will be and the more satisfied we will feel into the practice of Krishna consciousness as well. So the ultimate answer to our question is, a devotee definitely has to suffer a lot of pains, but they are specifically tailored to detach him from his material surroundings. And with that, we can say that we must have full and absolute faith on Lord Shri Krishna because he is Suhridam Sarvabhuta Naam. If we want Shanti, if we want peace in our life, then we have to understand that Krishna is our Suhrid. He is our ever well-wishing best friend. And no well-wishing best friend can think of anything bad for us. So under all situations, have faith on that Sarva Karan Karanam Shri Krishna and everything will fall right into place. Hare Krishna, Jai Jai Shri Radhe Shyam, Jai Jai Shri La Prabhupad, Nitai Gaur Premanande, Hari Hari Bol, Hare Krishna.